Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniatures, and it's time once more for our weekly painting progress. And I refer to we, but it's basically just me. It's that royal we, I guess. So anyway, yeah, I got me a vintage white speaker done. And it wasn't all that fantastic a paint job, but she's finished nonetheless. And she has been on the table for far too long. Vintage as in the sense that I believe this is the Pinups of Death 1, which I think I got back with the original Kickstarter. Well, what was that like 2011, 12, 13? A while ago. So she's she's been waiting for her moment in the spotlight. Um, speaking of Kingdom Death, actually, we got one of the Ringtail Fox Vixens finished. Well, I say we. I should say my dad actually did. Uh, he went ahead and painted up one of, as I knock the camera around, the larger scale models. I know he's enjoyed painting these, and I think at this point, outside of the Valentine night that I've painted, um, I'm like trying to think what other large 54 millimeter ones. Ah, uh, Winter Solstice Lucy. I think I'm going to have to give him that one, see if we can get her done in time for Christmas. And then I think he'll be five for five outside of my Valentine's Twilight Night. Heck, maybe I'll grab him one just for the heck of it so he can have one to paint. We've got quite the menagerie of large, well-endowed ladies that my father has painted here. Uh, unfortunately, so yeah, it's not been the most exciting week in terms of getting things painted. It was quite busy. But since this week is a vacation week for me, and probably most of the U.S., at least for a couple days, um, I'm hoping that I can get some stuff finished up. So here we have one of the Arch Villain Games Lizard Sun Dancers. I believe that's what they were called. I did a really boring, boring paint job. But my problem was I couldn't figure out what to do with it. I obviously probably should go back and paint the skull separate, maybe, and like put some colors in those spaces on the headdress maybe do something with the feathers i don't know i just couldn't come up with a decent idea for i want to say her i don't know why this feels like a female lizard maybe because she's a little smaller then again not all lizard species have the female smaller but hey you know whatever works all right a random skeleton I finally started getting back to clearing out all of my Oathmark and War Games Atlantic skeletons, and I can't remember which are which. I'm guessing this is a Oathmark one, though, only because it's got the tatters and rags. Because the War Games Atlantic ones had nothing. They were bare naked, and they're carrying quivers somehow. I don't know how that works. They probably are going to need some green stuff belts roped on them. Uh, but uh, at least the Oathmark ones have somewhere... To hold it. I think it came out okay. Skeletons are like the king of dry brushing models. You know, you can just slap a few layers of base colors underneath and then just dry brush away and you're good to go. So he's finished at least. I don't know why it's a he, but it's a skeleton, right? Uh, other than that, I've been printing like a madman and I actually did get started on that giant three headed T Rex from Mini Monster Mayhem, like some of you suggested. Whether or not I finish it before the month of November is over, I don't know. I've also been busy trying to paint up some of my Atlan Forge guys. So this is one of their Templar Knights. And I will let you figure out what you would want to use it as an equivalent for in whatever grim, dark future gaming environment you like to play in but i really did enjoy these and like most of the atlan forge stuff they've got a ton of options on them and i think he's supposed to have something that was hanging off of his belt and i snapped it off but that's pretty typical of me lots of different shoulder pads lots of backpack options lots of head options and then mostly just bolt pistols and chain swords sadly i went to the I actually went to the hobby shop the other day hoping I could find some Black Templars and they had absolutely nothing. So I was like, hooray for me, at least I got these guys. I also painted up their Black Templar Champion with his fancy little base there. 
I have tried to straighten this sword out so many times, and it's mostly straight at this point. Not 100%, but it's mostly straight. Not really in focus either. Obviously, he would be a champion of sorts. I do like the fact that one of the options for this guy was you could have him with the pistol pointing, shooting, or you could just have it as a separate piece completely and keep it off entirely if you wished. And also of interest was the fact that all of his parts are totally cooperative and compatible with his friend right here. So if I'd wanted, I could have totally just mixed and matched. And this guy actually was released first. These came later, but they're both pretty cool. So, as always, we will have those links down there for you if you don't know where to find this stuff. Not a whole lot this week, unfortunately. I know Sparkle Trout has been wanting to paint stuff, but has no bases and was waiting for an order to come in. And his FDM printer seems to have died, and he's looking into getting either, was it an Ender 3 or an Ender 5? If you guys have any opinions on what he should pick up, let us know in the comments. I would love to know. And I'm sitting here drinking my coffee, and I'm thinking, you know what? I would love to have, like, a Obscurities and Miniatures coffee cup of my own. Because I'm always sitting here, especially, like, on Sundays when I'm filming these videos for Monday, sipping on coffee usually, listening to... Japanese superhero action of... Sounds like Dungeons of Borger. Somebody's screaming and yelling attacks. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, I gotta come up with some kind of a, a logo. After all this time. I think my first video went up around Thanksgiving break. Maybe it was Christmas break. Uh, but it's been a while. And I think it's time. We definitely need to have some sort of logo. So, I, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Maybe we should do some kind of a contest. That'd be kind of cool. I have some ideas myself. I can show you guys my terrible ideas. I have some random... I was grabbing all of the other big pinup girls and realizing that I didn't give my dad the bases for those two. I'm trying to think. Outside of Valentine's, have we had a big Easter one? I know there was an Easter Aya a long time ago. I don't even remember. I don't know about you guys, but that's like about the only thing I'm really, really looking forward to this week. Outside of eating and getting together with the family. Um, I know for us Americans, you know, Thanksgiving is here. Uh, I've got quite elderly grandparents who, you know, we'd like to spend as many holidays and events with as we can while they're still with us and healthy. So I don't know about you guys. I am absolutely looking forward to visiting with family. And getting lots of stuff painted, and hopefully all of you out there are going to be doing the same. And hopefully you're going to have <laughs> plenty of shopping experiences this Friday, because I know I will. So hopefully if there's any new Kingdom Death stuff, you guys are going to save some for me. Don't hog it all. I promise I won't either. So, with that said, this has been High Lord Tamerlane with Obscurities and Miniatures. Saying thanks for watching, and have a happy Thanksgiving, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.